Hello everyone and welcome to Space Engineers and today I came up or I didn't invent this, I took the idea from uh, Digital, I think, Digital and his Jekyll Hyde system where you camouflage a ship as cargo containers but I thought it didn't make very much sense unless you had actual cargo containers, which I got a little carried away with, as you'll see in a bit. But um, this is a basic sort of version, and these versions have an extra frame to put these little merge blocks to be stackable vertical, and they all function basically the same, but have different purposes. Uh, these two are the same on the inside, but as you can see the standard cargo one has three large cargo containers, two batteries on, or one battery on each side, four mass blocks, a uh, couple thrusters, I think it equals to four pointing in each di direction. Uh, some connectors to get items in and out. And a button and control panel. Over here we have the oxygen one, which is a little different. We have four oxygen tanks and three oxygen generators there, there, and there. And again with the connectors and batteries and such. And this one I am not really sure about. I don't think it's as useful. The idea is just to bring power to a base or someone who might need a lot of it, I guess. It has five large reactors and ten azimuth uh, batteries. I think uh, they're 80% better than vanilla batteries. And you could just replace them with vanilla batteries if you don't want to use the azimuth uh, mods. And also some chairs here if you want to recharge. And it also sort of acts as a troop transport, I guess. Could be little stealthy attacks. And as you can see, you don't even have to stay opened. Now for the fun part. These are pretty much foolproof in uh, not crashing. I can turn it upside down any which way and it will land the right way up and safely. It's just always so cool to watch this work. Let's see where my spectator is. See it has a little bit of trouble straightening out, but it always lands safely. And the thrusters don't actually do any damage to the shutters from what I can see in creative. But I've tested this many times. I built this special little area because I crashed many times and I have a whole welding thing set up here just to fix it and as you can see it landed safely and the cargo is intact. Now the final test which I haven't tried yet 
is on my testing world, I have mods with uh, planets and planet gravity, or asteroid gravity, I should say. And I wanted to try basically sending one of these in a planet and seeing if it survives the impact. Well, if it impacts. And uh, I'll show you a little bit of footage of what uh, Digital's or original map looked like. And, well, here's a little bit of a ship. I was reworking it a bit. But as you can see, it looks like a cargo container. Although I was changing it up to look more like my other ones. But I will see you guys in a bit with the, uh... Planet testing. We're in my testing world now. That's a, uh, that's a moon, and that is the planet. What are disabled ships, cargo ships? Getting sucked in by that gravity right now, but we're aiming for that one. We are looking to drop some cargo for our base down there. Get how far I need to be for this gravity to activate. There's my solar farm. Should be activating. There we are. Um, well, that's gonna keep going. Uh, no, I'm getting sucked in with it. Alright then, uh, let's go with a standard cargo container, and just drop it I guess. Good luck, cargo. Where's my ship? Wait, did I stop? Oh, I did stop. Huh. Uh, try and get in my ship. And we'll watch it go down, I guess. Um, maybe I should just wait for it down there. I should have launched it closer, maybe. Well, that's going to be coming, but... Let's drop another one more closer. Let's go to like 1,000, maybe. Or I could just do that to cheat a little bit. Um, so it seems to be doing fine so far, so I'm just gonna land, I guess, and wait for the cargo to come down. It's going pretty slow, so I'm pretty sure it's gonna make it. Yeah, it's gonna take forever to get down. It's going like one meter a second. Jeez. really thought it would be coming down a lot faster. So I realize now that I might need a special version to work with planets. Like maybe adding less thrusters or more mass blocks. Or maybe a combination of that with sensors that turn on the rest once it gets a certain distance. 
but until then uh, Now the gravity of this planet is set uh, normal, I guess. It was 0.5 before. And now it's falling decently faster. Would it be... Let me see. Okay, where the hell is this? Boop, boop. Zoop, zoop, zoop. Okay, so I have sun rotation on, so you can't really see anything right now. And it's probably only going to get darker. But you can see everything's working right. It looks like it's angled right. Just the other one at. It's way over here. Adjust my spectator speed. Jeez, they're 700 meters apart. And actually, I think I'll disable sun rotation so I can actually see this. Okay, so we're back, and now everything is lit up very brightly. Cargo's still on its way. Going a little bit faster now. I feel like I might as well give you a tour of my little base and my crash satellites. It's getting very close now. 400 meters. Let's see. Pull up. Yeah, gravity's too much for the ship now. Oh, it's just over there, actually. Ah. Oh, nope, breaking. Launch, launch, oh! These tiny little thrusters don't help very much. So there's our cargo, finally getting close, Oop, let's get out of the way, and there we are. And I have tested it against guns and stuff, and it seems to do pretty decently well. The only problem is that once uh, the shutters get damaged, they stay in the position that they are, which is either closed or open. And I might crash again. But hopefully the cargo won't. Cargo's falling faster. Uh, don't crash. Oop, there it is. Now it looks like we had a little impact. Well, I say a little, but. Pretty big hole, but looks like everything's fine. Surprisingly, where's the other one? Where are you? Where are no, it's that one. Oh, it's 400. Alright. Well, it landed mostly safe. Yeah. 
And now we can take the precious cargo, which is nothing. And you can actually store stuff in the connectors, so fit a lot of stuff with this. Uh, the only problem I have right now, though, is I don't have a ship to carry these and move them around. And I'm not exactly sure how to get things out of the connectors. Besides, uh, unless you have, I don't know, a good design ship or moving it by person. So here comes the cargo. Pretty close to the last one. See if it's a uh, gentle landing. Oh! It was perfect landing, I think. If I can get to the other side. Mm, yep. Perfect landing. Had a little damage on the first one, but this one's alright. Well, it mostly survived the planet tests, and uh, the other two containers are pretty much the same, so if these can survive, then so can the others. So uh, tell me what you guys thought of these, and, and I'll see you guys later with maybe some more Space Engineers. See ya. Bye.